peace, 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 love, prosperity, abundance, self-love, self-care, wisdom, knowledge, patience, understanding, understanding, western standing, all the four corners of the earth standing, and grand rising and grand rising and we are rising to the top. I am catching a cold, you know, um, I went out with my girls over the weekend, you know, we went out for brunch and the weather was nice. I think it was like 60-something, 70. It was pretty nice outside, but if you're from New York and you go to the city, which is Manhattan, it's always colder. You know, it's, it's on water, so it makes sense. But, you know, we had a good time, and every time I go out without a hat or, like, a scarf, if I'm not riding in a car, um, yeah, I can't be walking outside for too long. I catch cold very easily. Then my son got allergies when he came back from his dad. So it's like I'm picking all of that up. And my house is under renovation. You know, there's dust. You know, I have to get rid of everything, move everything out of the room and put it in the hallway. And I'm cleaning sometimes. And you can feel the dust in your nose, you know, because my ceiling, my, my bathroom ceiling came down. They had to fix that. They had to paint all the rooms, the floor, you know. It was a lot of work going on here, which is still going on. They they're like ninety percent done, so they painting they paint the house. I mean the house, you know, because I have to be in the house, and the smell. They told me management told me they say you're gonna get sick, but just get two shots of tequila, you'll be fine. Come to think about it, I think I need two shots of tequila. <laughs> but it is two in the morning. It's Monday. Today's Monday. It's two a.m. Um, I took some allergy medicine. I went to sleep and um. I woke up. I went to sleep, I think, around 7 or 8. It was early. I went to bed early, and now I'm up. Enough with boring you with my life um, stories. But I hope each and every one of you is doing great. Like, I mean, doing good. Even if you're not doing great, you're doing good, or you're doing okay. You know, you are pleased with whatever you got. So, um... I wanted to talk about this last week, and I believe some of you have seen this on the news. Dubai. You have seen the video of Dubai. Now, I ain't that old, but with a little research and education, I have been informed that Dubai was once a desert. Yeah, Dubai was a desert, and now Dubai is, is Dubai. Dubai. Dubai... What's the desert? So when a place is a desert, there's no water. Or let me say access to water is, is very difficult because, again, it's a desert. It's sand. Now, as a spiritual person, I understand a lot of things and I understand a lot of things. Now, the universe brought us here. God brought us here. We are all gods and goddesses. I know you're going to say, why Why do spiritual people say that? Um, your mom and your dad came together. You know, it's half your mom, half your dad that comes together that make you. But you ain't your mom and you ain't your dad. But you are a mini version of them. Right? That's how it is with God. The, 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 the giver of life has created all of us and given us a little bit of itself. So God, a little bit of God is in all of us. A little bit of God is in nature. And when I say nature, everything. The air you breathe in, um, the food you eat, the, 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 the ground you walk on, the, the trees, the ocean animals, the birds, they are all part of God. They are all an extension of God, but they're not God. They're not the big God. You're not the creator. You're the creator of your life, but you're not the creator of the universe. You're not the creator of air. You're not the creator of sleep. You're not the creator of none of that. You're just in charge of your life. That's how powerful you are. You are a mini version of God. That's why in the scripture it says, Christ said, if you master the God in you, that's not how we say it, but I'm paraphrasing. If you master the God in you, you can manifest and do way better than I did. That's what Jesus said. Because we all saw Jesus to be so powerful. But Jesus said, if you can master and, and conquer the God within you, and that, that's, that means learning how to control your emotions, the energy, you know, because we are all energy, we are all spirit. And if we learn how to channel 
um, certain type of energy, we can channel that to something great, or we 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 we, we could manifest that to to we could manifest for something beneficial, right? So it's all about going within. Now you're gonna hear that line go every day. They say go within, go within. I do not know what trauma that you got going on, and you're not booking me for some energy work. So I clearly don't know. You, you, we, we all need some stress relief, okay? We all need some cleansing. I get cleansing. I do it. Don't think because I'm a healer, so I don't. I'm good. No, I work on people. I pick up on energies. I have to also get worked on. Now we here to have a human experience, right? God has given us free will to do whatever we want, and again, we are here to experience. So, when Dubai became Dubai. I, I, part of me was like, okay, they are using the God within them to develop, to create something big, something massive. Then the other side of me say, you cannot go against nature. You cannot go against nature. Personally, I haven't been to Dubai, so I don't know if the whole Dubai is now a, a, a city or a state. I don't know if it's a city or a state. I don't know if the whole Dubai is now in water. Because again, it was once a desert. It's 50-50. That's why I said I don't know if the whole Dubai is now the new Dubai. You know, they don't have maybe like Pasha is the developed Dubai and then the Pasha will be like the desert cause so you have to balance it. But if there's no more desert and it's all like the developed Dubai, then it's going to cause some conflict. Because remember, everything moves. Just because you see me sitting here, I'm moving spiritually. Energy don't stay at one spot. We constantly moving. Your TV, your house, your apartment, the floor you walked on. Nature itself is, is a moving energy. The nature itself is moving. So whether you move or don't move, nature is gonna move. The universe is gonna go. So you see that you come with it, with the new change, or you stay behind. That's what some people call it: the 3D, the 5D, and the, all the DD dimension. Yes, because the planet is moving. It's not gonna sit here and wait for you. Right, so I'm gonna show you a video of Dubai now. It's it's very bad, but like again, I haven't been to Dubai. Um, I wasn't born in the '60s where I've seen the old Dubai. I'm only familiar with the new Dubai. Now I know some spiritual people who say, "Oh, that's what they get for messing with nature." That could be true, but like again, I'm saying it. I don't know if the whole entire city of Dubai is is now developed. I hope that they have certain part that is still the old Dubai because you cannot just get rid of everything and put new infrastructures. Nature need to find its way. And if it was a place, if Dubai was once water and you want to build cities and, 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 and towns, you cannot block water. Water will find its way to come out. That's the same way I'm saying. If the place was once sand and now it's water, Maybe nature was like, okay, y'all doing too much now. We get, you have a lot of free will and y'all just damaging stuff. Now I'm going to end it here to show y'all the video of Dubai. All I'm trying to say is we are here to experiment. We are here to experience. And we shouldn't overuse our free will. There's certain things that we have to keep in balance, you know. So um, it's 50-50. There's a positive and there's a negative. The negative side is if they turn the whole Dubai into the new Dubai, then they, there's going to be a conflict. And the positive, that's the negative side, right? The negative side is going to be a conflict because now you got rid of all the sand. This, that's the, that's the, the home for the sand. Just like your body is a house for your soul. Your body is a space suit for your soul. That sand... That desert in Dubai, that is the house, that desert, the house is Dubai. So now you've moved the desert and you've replaced it with water and thick, uh, thick clouds and thick make it rain. Don't play with nature. You can thick make it rain, but when nature said I'm raining, you can't control nature. You cannot control nature. So maybe nature is mad and said, y'all doing too much here. And plus Dubai, there's so much that go on Dubai, y'all don't even know. There's a lot of things that go on Dubai. So it could be it could be 50-50. Nature said, okay, y'all doing too much here. Just like 
when Christ went to church and saw what we do within the church and started beating people up, they could be like that. They just said, I'm tired of y'all doing all of this. First of all, y'all got rid of all my sin. Y'all created all these buildings and businesses just to create this low vibration energy, you know, the things that go on in Dubai, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of nasty stuff. But enough for that. I'm sorry. I know y'all hear my nose. I don't got to blow my nose. It's just the allergies. And so we got to learn how to balance, you know. We can't just get rid of everything and replace it with what we think we deserve, you know. Nature the Nature has right to live here, just like you have right to live here. Plants, animals, sand, trees, they all have rights. We can't keep taking over the place, leaving all this other um, creation of God. We have to give them room to also have their human, uh, whatever experience they also came here to experience. So um, I love you for watching and give, give yourself a hug and one love. There is a building have no electricity, no water, uh, also food not getting uh, for tenant, that's why helping them. <laughs>